What up guys, as you see here, I am making a video showing you guys how to upload to YouTube faster. I know that is a big issue that everyone has and it's like, what the heck, you know, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, what I'm going to do here is, let me see if I want to use this one. Um, this is just a little green screen that I made. Um, yeah, I'll use this little green screen one. And as a matter of fact, I'll keep this info up. As you guys notice, right here it says 7.2 megabytes um, for the size that it is right now. And, um, you know, based on the size, obviously this one's going to upload like that because of the fact that it is a small, you know, couple second video already. And um, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about Handbrake. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up the Handbrake um website here and what you want to do is you want to open up handbrake.fr and you will see this screen here I've been using this source for a while um, so I actually recommend um, to use it um, and I other platforms here you can um, obviously look and see that you can use it for Windows, Mac, and other things like that. And um, I am actually using it for the Mac OS X um, because I am doing this from my MacBook here. So um, here, let's actually go back here. And what you want to do is you want to press download and you want to download it, which I already have. So um, that's first and foremost. You do need to download this onto your computer. Um, and I noticed it does not take up that much space. So um, I think it I think it's pretty good. So um, download that. And um, when you have it on your computer, like on mine, it shows up as this little, you know, white box here. I don't, it may show up like this, the same on all other platforms like Windows. Windows and computer and stuff but I know for a Mac it does show up like this and what you want to do is you want to open it and this little thing is going to pop up and you want to click on the cocktail thing with the pineapple here so once you click it it's actually going to open up and what it's going to do right away is it's going to have you upload a video so obviously have your video edited that you want to upload to YouTube and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, choose the green screen little video that I have that I want to upload and what it's doing it's scanning scanning it making sure that it's all okay and then from this screen as you notice it did pull it up here here's the file name you want to go over here to the top right and you want to click on this picture setting and what you want to do is you want to make sure that this cropping here is all is all zeros and if you so happen to see you know some numbers in one of these what you want to do is press custom and you want to change those all to zero you want to make sure they are all on zero that is um that is essential to it and once you change it all to zero you can x out of it and um, you can leave everything else as is and then what you want to do is you want to press start and upon pressing start, um, if you notice right here down at the bottom, it's showing me that it's compressing it. And since this file is so small, it's just taking a couple seconds. And then when it is done, you'll see this pop up on the screen that says put down that cocktail. Your handbrake cue is done. And then you want to press OK to get out of that. And if you want to notice, here, let me pull this file over here and also the compressed file. And as if you notice here, um, one says MP4, which is the one that you actually just compressed, which is uploadable to YouTube. And it doesn't change anything about your video. It doesn't, um, you know, eliminate some of your video. It, it's the same exact thing as this, but it is just a, um, a much smaller file size. So make sure that you... Um, that you have it all edited the way you want it so then that way you know once you compress it you don't have to go into it because I noticed compressing it and then saying oh crap I should have re-edited something and putting that compressed file into you know iMovie or your editing um, any any type of editor that you use is actually makes it a little bit harder to re-edit when it's a smaller, smaller size um, so make sure that it is the way you want it to be upon uploading it to YouTube and then what I'm gonna do here is 
I'm reopening. This is the original um, megabytes before it was um, compressed. And then I am going to open up the one for the compressed file. And if you notice, look how much smaller it is, guys. It got it down to one megabyte. Like, look at that. It's from 7.2 down to one. Um, so for this example, I'm going to show you how fast this one megabyte um, file is now going to upload to YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, just do it, you know private, you know, just because this is this is just for you guys So I'm going to upload that file and what I want to do is I want to make sure I grab that mp4 one Look how fast it uploaded look at that look how fast it did that and now it's already in the processing stage Obviously other ones are going to go a little bit slower because the files are obviously going to be a lot bigger because you're gonna have a longer Vlog or whatever type of video you're doing so but I mean it goes drastically faster Be upon before using um, This handbrake I noticed that videos would say it would take like 300 minutes and all this other stuff um you know to upload and I'm like what the heck you know it would take all day to freaking upload and then I noticed upon um, compressing these files to be smaller it would take literally 10 to 15 minutes to upload and I do vlogs I do reviews I have some videos that are 25 minutes I have some videos that are like two or three minutes and they do not take long to upload um, as a matter of fact what I did and I'm going to um, go into my my video manager here um, just to show you guys because I have some stuff that I haven't even uploaded yet I'm gonna delete this guys because we don't need that um, I've already used that green screen um, these files here have not even been uploaded yet they have been uploaded um, as of now that you guys are actually watching this how-to video but um, it literally took me less than a day to upload all of these in less than an hour um, so it does work out it, it does help you out so 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 much upon trying to upload your videos to YouTube so definitely definitely um, look into getting handbrake and I do really really recommend it um, um, and um, I, I thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions of how to um, you know how to use certain things on handbrake or have any other questions please feel free to leave them down at the comments below um, I hope this video was uh, very informative for you and helps you guys upload a lot faster and um, like I said uh, give this video a thumbs up please share it you know get it out into the YouTube world you know I'm sharing it with you guys my YouTube family of how to make you know uploading go a lot easier you know because it's already can be a pain in the butt so have an awesome day guys like i said leave comments below if you have any questions and if you guys want to see anything in particular let me know i could possibly do a video for you so um have a great week guys and i will see you guys next video bye